Hello, in this video you're going to learn how we can create a render of floor plan just using gray markers. So I have cool gray 2, cool gray 3, cool gray 4, 5 and 6 lined up like this. So I have a living room and then I have a bedroom. So what I need to do is first orient my strokes according to and you say I already started doing this <clears throat> according to the direction of the wood planks. So I'm going to do first a general color wash using parallel strokes including the door I have a door swing including that door swing through. Right? This is a common mistake at the beginning. In this case I have my planks running in this direction. I'm going to do my strokes going this direction first covering the entire floor okay avoid crisscrossing okay then I'm going to use either the same marker or C3 I'll try C2 first and with a ruler I'm going to do a few strokes one more time slightly broken meaning not going from beginning to end but just showing some extra planks that are slightly darker and this is good because when we're using a natural material in this case wood some planks come slightly darker than others so that's C2 this is C3 what I'm going to do is mark some of the planks even a bit darker with C3 and then change my ruler here the direction of my ruler and do some in this direction. Okay. After I do that, I'm going to start doing a general color wash um, on the main furniture pieces. If I have a reflection, I would not cover it. I would leave the white of the paper, such as this portion there. You see we have a white there. And um, I'd like to keep my markers always in order, like this, so I know how I need to work with them. Okay, so just a general color wash. You'll notice that when we do color washes, quite often we start losing the shape of the objects we are rendering. So we just have to be careful. Okay, so now I'm going to use even the lightest marker that I have. This is a C0. Just give me a little bit of color, but not a lot. Okay, next thing that I'm going to do will be now carefully, I'll be tracing the outlines of my furniture pieces. So I start seeing what I have. The reason why I use my black outlines later is that to avoid having... Um, smears. We don't want to have the black lines smearing. So intermediate line weight and then I switch to thin. So this is 0.8 and this is 0.5. So you see this is giving me quickly the outlines that I need to do a color study, a gray study I should say. All right, so don't forget to switch pens as you work with in one direction and another. If you have a template then use it for your tables. And this is going to be the outline of my room in this case the living room. So I am marking the entire outline now. Okay. Now I'm going to switch markers. Actually, I use this one too. All right, I can do now dots to suggest texture. If I want to add even more texture on the living room floor, 
I'll have to be very careful to first try to get the right um, wood plank lengths. So this is quarter scale. So this is half inch. I mean half a foot. So this is so that would be six inches. So this is three inches. So that gives me an idea on how wide planks need to be. So now instead of drawing every single plank on this floor, what I just need to do is draw enough lines to suggest them. All right, and the eyes will do the rest. So you see I'm suggesting some there, some here. I can do a few more over here. Okay, but always trying to use time-saving techniques. We don't want to spend hours drawing the floor planks exactly. All right, so we have now enough of them. The next thing will be to work with my shadows. Now I'm going over the black line, so I have to be extra careful not to smear my lines. So that means I shouldn't press too hard. All right, so now we have a great study of our floor plan. And um, you can always add a bit of gray on these two shelves that I have that are built in. The last thing, of course, would be to label our room. Okay. 